crashing down So forgive me how I'm acting now Ain't no love no more Heart froze for sure Gotta make a move on it Nigga, we out here, nigga. I'm out here in the foe. He's hanging out. Yeah, you know, nigga, Burning Avenue. Dead on me. Off the yeah. back, Chris, or the fig. Hey, stop Burning Avenue. 212316. Nigga, what's happening? On the hood on Burning Avenue. On the dead homies, Chris, or the fig. Bitch, on the hood. You know, you put up on your crib once, all right? Tell the rap King Park, you know what it is. On the hood on the dead On the back, Chris, or the fig. On Burning Avenue. On the dead homies. On the hood on Burning Avenue. On a dead on me, he pull up one time on hood for a nigga day, cuz oh, nigga. Oh, oh, oh. You already know. Happy C day, nigga. On hood, hood, look at what I said. Dead on me, you already know. Vernon Avenue. Yeah. Off the back, bitch, on a dead on me. On the hood. Yeah, hit that shit, Flock. Hit that shit, Flock. <laughs> yeah, hit that shit. Come on. Come on. Bring it up. Yeah, bring it up. Keep it close. Keep it close to your body. Good shit, cuz. We over here getting this gorilla workout in, man. Bro, I needed this, bro. <laughs> fuck. You bro, my only fucking fatigue, bro. Come on, cut. It's easy work. Program side, girl. We're going to get you gorilla. Oh. We're going to get you gorilla right. You feel me? Hey. Hey. Program time. Are hey, you straight, nigga? You, right? you keep stumbling and shit. You straight? Yeah. Yeah. Program time what? Two, three, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Out. I just now total do 10 push right after the set. Watch this. Bro. Come on, let's get it. That's 10. That's it. My first you was able to do 30 before that. before the workout. Come on, just 10. Come on. Come on. Let's try one more time, bro. You got it, cuz. Start over from the top. Don't push yourself up. Start from the top first. <laughs> Watch this, cuz. Yeah, just start from the top like that. You got it. You got it. Come on. <laughs> nah, arms, bro, bro. Yo. Yo, <laughs> hey, we good. I, I told you to do that shit on purpose because I knew you wasn't gonna be able to do it. <laughs> Yo, okay, Flacco. Got that new big body thing, huh? I see you, Flacco. Come on, nigga, Flacco. Hey, I hey, see you. Hey, listen, man. Let me get into it, man. Come on. Now, let's just, <laughs> hey, see, hey, look, 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 look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, 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 oh, hey, that's what you want to see, the AMG? Hey, man, hey, uh -huh. man, hey, 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 family, listen, listen, right? Hey, listen. I know you bitch ass niggas taking your fucking three thousand dollars to Carmax and getting <laughs> a twenty sixteen <laughs> A class, <laughs> man. <laughs> now this is. Cash, fully man. Cash, cash, fully man. Oh, you cashed out? Hey, cashed out. Pink slip. No notes, you feel me, man? Right, but hey, man, man, look at this, man. Come, Come on, on now, man. man. Bro, listen. This bro. ain't wood grain. This is a uh, pinstripe, nigga. Man. Fiber. Hey, man. Who got pinstripe fiber in this motherfucking nigga? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Listen up. Look. Man, man, man. Hey, man. Oh, yeah, okay. Man, come on, man. Hey, look. Hey. To all the hoes out there, bro. Listen, man. <laughs> if your baby daddy is broke, <laughs> fucked up, man. Listen, man. Yeah. If you need something, man, bro, come to the B team, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> man, if I'm man, please. Man, look, 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 man. Look, look, look man, man. Come on, bro. Look at this, man. Come on, bro. Bro. Hey, hey, listen up, man. I told niggas, bro. Listen, man. By the end of 2024, bro, we're going to have this. And by February, bro, listen, listen, hold me to it, bro. By February of 2025, bro. Yeah. Uh, listen, we're going to have but the big Maybach. I'm going to hold you accountable. Listen, by February of 2025. I'm going to hold you man, accountable, nigga. I'm going to pull out with the Maybach, man, all right? Cash. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, 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 no, no. We're going to have that motherfucker, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, man, say, man, it's your host with the most, Trill Carlitos. And I am back with another episode of SAG World TV, man. Thank y'all for tuning into the video. Thank y'all for tapping in with it. Now let's get into it. All right, so it looks like P Nice from Long Beach Insane 
linked up with four extras, the Fodies, and Poetic Flacco, the troll Brick Baby. And as y'all seen for that last three, four minutes, in the beginning you see P Nice in the 40s with extra with four extra and some of the rolling 40s. And while this to the average person's eye, they wouldn't see like what's the problem. But anybody that knows what they know about Los Angeles County politics, it's weird seeing somebody from Insane, which are, or which are the tr are part of the Trey card, linking up with some hoodsters who are from the Deuce card. Like them two cards have been enemies since the late '70s, early '80s. So to see them link up because they have a mutual enemy which is brick baby it was it was weird i'm not gonna lie it was odd to see it made me shake my head but at the same time i was like I, he knows what he's doing he nice know what the hell he doing <laughs> he know what the hell he doing he joking on brick baby saying brick baby can't even ain't even good in his own hood he trying to troll on that level like it's not been this this year has been horrible for brick baby i can't even i can't even flex can't even cap it's man he choked out he crashed out on you know sounding very self-incriminative on no jumper damn near caught a case off that shit but you know woof. you know what i'm saying when will brick learn bro when will brick learn like the internet is gonna internet all you gotta do is just take your l's and just move on don't it's like beating a dead horse you you get nothing out of it it's only gonna make the shit worse you feel me like bro like relax just stop talking you know the internet bro the internet is gonna be the death of that nigga you know this is with all due respect not wishing it on with but no bad energy or ill will on nobody but i'm just saying for some niggas the internet is gonna be the death of him. and plus he don't make it any better by putting everything on the dead homies and all six oh from what i've been told like I said in the last video, any nigga that gotta put everything on they set, they hood, and the dead homies, they usually lying. Nine times out of ten, they are lying. Because you don't have to put everything on the hood. If you do, you're just being extra. You're just being extra out. It's like on some Crip Max shit. Shit, honestly, when it comes to uh, four, uh, four extras, he's like the he's the forties. He's like the crit mac of the forties without the you fold me or you know, shit like that. He don't talk like that, but you know he with the bullshit. Yeah, I find it weird that uh, P Nice was linking up with Poetic Flacco because if y'all already know, Poetic Flacco got issues with Brick Baby. Because Rick Baby felt like Poetic Flacco posted some content on Poetic Flacco's channel that was very, you know, incriminating. But I'm like, Brick, you the one that knew this gonna be online and millions of people were gonna see it, bro. So, can't be mad at nobody but yourself at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if you if you really sit back and think social media is the death of a lot of these a lot of these high profile murder cases and investigations, they don't be it be months before they have a lead going on. You know what I'm saying? But then after a couple months, maybe after a year or two, they look back on all the social media where these dudes don't went live. It have been screen recorded by fans and people that are just tuned in to particular scenes across the country. That is how niggas get caught up. Biggest example, the O Block 6. They went online, just kept making fun of Duck. Dude customized his Gucci shoes with a picture of Don of Daffy Duck getting a picture taken of him. Flash photography, bruh. That was the most self-incriminating fucking subliminal haha -ha, yeah I did it moment I've ever seen on social media. I'm like, these young niggas just doing the most, and it's like they don't fucking learn. It's like they old. Well, of course, they, they got nobody to teach them shit because the OGs didn't have this shit. Because think about it. Back then, in the OGs generation, you could kill, like, before there was surveillance, you could kill somebody and leave the country or go to the next state, and that would be that. Nobody would be able to find you. It'd be over. Now, there's cameras everywhere. They can triangulate a cell phone, uh, cell phone towers to trace your phone in the area. 
they can trace all of that they they can they can trace all of that and that's what gets people caught up boom now they doing 50 to life because they had a cell phone when they was in, on a drill and what kind of fucking shit is that you ask me this generation is just you really can't teach them you really it's unfortunate you really can't teach these young niggas shit because you know anything about niggas you know you can't tell them shit people in general you can't tell this generation a goddamn thing they ain't, they gonna do what they want to do at their own expense they gonna find out the hard way when it's too late and they already done crashed out and the damage has been done and the situation is and the damage is irreversible you feel me bro like p nice knows what he's doing four extras know what he's doing poetic flacco know what he's doing brick all you gotta do is just shut the fuck up and not get on social media that's all you gotta do don't say shit just keep doing your job at no jumper and you're straight no you want to run to the internet every fucking time you got to beef with a nigga. All it does is make you look worse and worse and worse. And the last video I did on you, I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if a DP came your way. Even though that, that 60, you saying, let me get some of that 60K. And I know that was an accident, but bro, this is going to be like, nah, nigga, why you say that shit? You could have said it a different way. You could have said 60,000, not 60. Think about it, Crip Mac got DP, like I said in the last video, Crip Mac got DP'd for claiming multiple sets, including Five Deuce Hoover, and dissed the whole neighborhood car after he got beat up in Texas by the Rolling 60s for faking like he was an official LA Rolling 60. And y'all saw what happened, y'all, you saw what happened, you saw the DP, that's tough. But, uh, mm, mm, mm. boy, 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 boy. Like, these young niggas is gone. It's like... It's like they choose to not be receptive of shit. Common sense shit can really keep a lot of these young niggas out of trouble. But they don't fucking... They, you know, they don't... They don't... They don't carry those characteristics of thinking things through. They just... All they know is go, 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 go. Crash out, crash out, crash out. Self-destruct. And they don't see the error of their ways until it's too late and there ain't nothing they can do and then they're sitting in a cell for the rest of their life niggas been crashing out since tupac man i guess nobody learned from him rest in peace to the goat but a lot of people can learn from what happened to Pac man never put your hands on a nigga that you don't know and never involve yourself in the beef of other niggas especially if you don't know the dude that they beefing with you know what i'm saying Whew. like i legit feel bad for big brick baby it's like ever since the nigga came to no jumper it's like his integrity and his character has been in question on multiple different occasions like it's not like and this year at all at all this has been the worst for my boy this has been the worst for brick the crash out the choke out and now dudes that you don't get along with making up to get a rise out of you and honestly i hope brick baby don't respond but if he do hey can't tell a nigga shit you know what i'm saying you can't tell a nigga shit He's gonna have to learn the hard way. Just, hey, just shut up and you straight. Biggest example, wife and Lucci. Unlike YSL, nobody in YFN told on one another. And YFN got the deal of a century. He should be out by next year. He was supposed to get out in the summertime, but it looks like he ain't getting out until 2025. But at the same time, you get one takeaway from that situation is that it pays to keep your fucking mouth closed. Everything gonna work out in the end. But anyways. Tell me what y'all think about it in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, and comment for more videos. Hit that bell button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And I'm gonna call some of y'all real quick before I get off of here. How are 90% of my viewers not subscribers? Only 10% of y'all subscribe, watch my channel. I get everybody got stuff going on, but come on, man. Come
Come on, at least support a nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's the least you can do, man. Because I'm trying my best to pump out more content, especially with this new format. I'm just being experimental with it, and I'm still, you know, I'm still a work in progress, y'all. It's a long, slow. It's not a. It's a long, steady grind. It's going. It's going to take. You know, slow route is better than no route. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, thank y'all for tuning in to Sag World TV, man.